Are you having trouble doing tower defense, and is the ranking on infinite zombies not good enough? Then you must watch this video till the end, because I will give you tips and tricks and all the knowledge about it. My rank is the proof, but for points it depends, because old players have a higher bonus battle power. So can not be compared with new players. As we saw the battle power bonus is affected by four things. Building for machine guns. Officer for rocket. Technology for EMP and equipment for lasers. And in all these respects, the old players must have been better than the new ones. And luckily for rankings, we only compete within nations. To be more enthusiastic, let's first discuss what the benefits are. For infinite zombie once every day we will get TD coin. And the higher the points, the more TD coins you get. After that there is a rank reward as you can see. Then the most important thing is, TD coins can be exchanged for items related to equipment. Except this one is for officers. So in other words the more points, the more TD coins, and the more items you can get. Besides the battle power bonus there is another thing called armament, and this is much more important. In order to get higher points, you can buy it using gold. But in order not to waste gold, you should buy what is really needed and actually has the best benefits. I will give a little explanation. If nothing is needed, you can refresh it, but you have to use gold. And the orange one is the best, then the purple one below it. Then blue, and green the lowest. You can buy a lot of armaments and keep them. But you can only use four with different colors, meaning you can use one each of each color when doing challenges. So according to the description of the same quality can only choose one. Next I will explain the basic functions and advantages of each tower. First for the machine gun turret. We can see here, this is for a single target, pay attention to the damage because we will compare it later. Then the rocket turret, this is for area attacks, the damage is less than half when compared to machine guns, but can deal damage to many zombies at once. Then EMP tower, this is very important. Although the damage is small, this tower is useful for slowing down zombies. That way other towers can deal more damage when this tower slows down the zombies. And lastly much more importantly, the laser tower. This is also for single target. And watch the damage, so this laser tower has increased damage after hitting the target. As an example for this level 1. The first time the laser hits the target the damage is 129. Then increases and the maximum is 392. And when compared. Laser that has the highest damage of all. And this is very effective against bosses or zombies that have a lot of HP. But as you can see the initial damage is very small, so if it hits the target for only a short time it's not effective, that's why the best way is to combine it with an EMP tower that slows down zombies, so the laser can hit the target longer and reach its maximum damage. Furthermore by increasing the level of the tower the damage will also increase as well as the range. With the same level all towers have almost the same range, except for the rocket turret, the range is slightly smaller than others for the same level. But even so the rocket turret is much more effective than machine guns, because it can deal damage to many zombies at once. And if you see on other channels, very rarely people use machine guns, indeed when compared to other turrets, machine guns are less effective. Next. How to aim at the target from each tower. Generally each tower immediately shoots every zombie that comes into range. But if there are many zombies at once each tower will choose a certain target first. The laser will focus on bosses or zombies with more HP or yellow HP and will ignore zombies with green HP, or low HP ones. It's clearly seen here where the laser aims at the target with the yellow HP first. 
And this is another proof, where it is clear that the laser turret focuses on the boss first. And will focus on the target until the zombie dies or is out of range. Meanwhile the machine gun turret is the opposite of the laser turret, focusing more on zombies with green HP first. I think here can be seen clearly. Where machine guns focus more on zombies with low HP which are green. And this also applies to the rocket turret. Can be seen here, where the rocket turret targets zombies with green HP first, even though zombies with yellow HP are also within range. Next is how to adjust the position of each tower, this is the most important because if it is wrong then the result will not be effective. For infinite zombie the terrain is always the same, but for tower defense in classic mode the terrain is different for each level. So I need to explain this so that beginners understand and know how to position the tower effectively. This is the most strategic position, because when placing the tower here it will cover more area. And the best in this position is the laser tower. So the laser can give its maximum damage longer when zombies pass through this area. And this will be very effective against bosses. Same is the case with this position, and this one. Next for EMP tower position. This is also important because it will collaborate with the laser to slow down the zombies. And try as much as possible to cover the entire area through which the zombies pass. But it doesn't need to be too much because the damage is small and the goal is only to slow down. And this is an example of a suitable position for this type of area. It can be seen that almost all areas that zombies will pass through are within the range of the EMP tower. For a position in a corner like this we can put a rocket turret, or something else as needed, meaning according to the type of zombie that will appear a lot but for starters the rocket turret is the best choice. The goal is to attack zombies with green HP, because for zombies with yellow HP we already have a laser tower in the middle with a more strategic position. In this position I will put the machine gun, because it has a wider range than a rocket turret, and also less resources. And the position near the base can be adjusted according to the circumstances, but I prefer the laser tower, but sometimes also put a rocket turret on some levels if it's difficult to face zombies with green HP. In leveling up each tower is also important because we should not waste resources on less strategic towers, and must focus first on the most strategic towers. For example, like this EMP tower, it is very important to upgrade it first in order to slow down the zombies in this area. And always pay attention to the types of zombies that are many and difficult to deal with, for example at this level most of the zombies with green HP, so it is more effective to increase the rocket turret first, because as previously discussed, the rocket turret focuses on zombies with green HP first. Next for the final wave or boss. There is one way to be more effective. Namely replacing some towers to give more damage. Before we can pause first so as not to waste time when changing towers. Then replace all towers with laser towers, except EMP towers. Then check the backmost tower, when the zombie boss has passed then there will be no more zombies passing by after that, then we can dismantle the tower to get resources, then use it to upgrade the tower that is being and will be passed by the boss. I hope you can understand all this information and make it easier for you to do classic mode challenges and get 3 stars. But if it doesn't work maybe you need to wait and upgrade the battle power bonus first and try again.
Furthermore additional information on doing infinite zombies and some tips to maximize points. First in choosing armament. There are many functions of armament, such as increasing tower damage. Some are specific for increasing the damage of certain towers and some are for all towers at once. There is also to increase the base HP, and increase the number and quality of rewards. And among all these armaments the one I like the most is resources, the reason is because with more resources we can build more towers. It will be very useful in the beginning. But best of all these are bombs. Because it can kill all the zombies at once. And you can also get one of these armaments during the challenge every time you complete the level. So don't worry too much if you don't have a good armament at the start. This is an example where I use armament as is. With some luck I managed to get a rank too. Luck is also needed in addition to good technique in placing towers. I will now explain my technique and goal of placing each tower on an infinite zombie challenge. First pay attention to the red line, which is the path the zombies will pass. After that build a tower around the red line first. Don't forget to pause to make it easier for you while installing the tower. For this position I put the rocket turret. Because based on the path that will be passed by zombies it is less effective to place the laser tower in this position. This is a zombie path and an area within range of the rocket turret. This position is also not good for the laser tower so I put the EMP tower. And here too. And for the laser tower position the best is here. And the next best position for the laser tower is here. Because the resources are still few, it is better to make towers one by one based on the most important according to the zombie path. Pay attention to the position of the EMP tower, after increasing a few levels then all areas will be covered by its range. And it's already the best position. In choosing an armament every time we level up, we already know the order and here the blue one is the best. The quality of the armament will increase with each increase in the challenge level, but sometimes there are also options that are not very good and sometimes very good, so it depends on the system and your luck. Now the choice is not good, everything is green. But among these three options, I think explosive robot is the best. Of these three options I think resources are the best, that way we can build more towers. Then here the position of the rocket turret. Then the rest is for the laser tower, but no need to rush in installing the tower. Pay attention to the paths that zombies will take and focus on placing towers in the area first. The available armaments aren't that great, but blue is better, and since it doesn't use a machine gun turret, so I chose energize, this is to increase the damage of the tower for 20 seconds. I hope you guys don't get tired of watching this process, I've speeded up the video so it doesn't waste too much time. And I think it is necessary to show all these processes, so that everyone including beginners can understand everything clearly. The best option seems obvious here is to increase laser damage. A new path of zombies has opened, so it's time to prepare. 
so try not to spend all the resources at once to deal with this situation. You can see which tower I built and upgraded first. All that is not without reason but has a purpose. There is one orange armament, we already know it's the best. The higher the level of the challenge, the difficulty also increases. Where the HP of each zombie that appears is getting bigger and keeps increasing with each level. Even zombies with green HP are also increasingly difficult to kill. It's never ending, and it's all about getting more points before our base is destroyed. And my pleasure is when I can get more points than before, and enter the ranking list. I think almost everyone does too. It's quite nice to see our names in the ranking list, especially if it's in the top 10 or top 3. The quality of armament decreases and can only choose the best among them and the most useful. In some cases, we may feel wrong in using armaments, such as the wrong position or timing when using them, and the point is that we feel we can do better. Then we can replay the current wave. Another reason may be that we put the towers wrong, so instead of dismantling and losing resources it is better to replay the current wave. Or just to experiment, maybe we can find another way to get more points. So there's no harm in replaying as much as you want until you get bored. And that's how I learned all this. While observing and figuring out which one is better. And in just two weeks I've understood everything about this, and got second rank several times. And other tips, if you notice I'm more focused on increasing the level of the tower in the middle. It's because of its most strategic position. Take a look at this laser tower and see its range. You see, the towers reach all the way here. It's not maximized, and still can be improved. and I focused on maximizing the laser tower in the middle first. Often ignores towers on the edge even if there are enough resources to level up. I think it's clearly visible here, from the middle of the laser tower it can reach a lot of areas that zombies pass through. And seeing the bomb in the armament is the most exhilarating thing. Now it's level 9. And there are still 3 orange armaments left, now just need to find the right time to use them. I think I have conveyed all the information and tips. Now just need to see the evidence, I will show it at the end of this video all the rankings including city and officer rankings. That way you can compare whether my method is effective or not, so it's not just about the number of points. Because the number of points will always increase along with increasing the city, equipment, officers, and research. You can speed up some of these sections, and go straight to the evidence at the end of the video if you feel this section is not important or getting bored.
So this is my point for now. And with those points I got rank 2. If you think this is just a coincidence, then you need to prove it yourself. After all if it's just a coincidence it's not possible I'm always in the top 5, and until this video was made I've been ranked 2nd 3 times and once ranked 4. And I've only been playing for 38 days now. And this is my point this week. Still 26,000, but slightly better than before, and still ranked 2. Next let's look at the list of city and officer rankings. For the city level I'm only ranked 30. But this really doesn't matter, because the city only affects the machine guns while we don't use it on the infinite zombie challenge. But this can be a benchmark for how much someone spends money, and for sure those who rank above me spend more money, especially the top 3. For officers I'm only rank 46 at the moment. So out of all this I can't even rank 10. Because this ranking is about who spends more and that's all it takes. And from that it can be ascertained that they have better equipment than me. And this is the equipment I have now. So I think this is enough to prove that the method I use is quite effective, because even though my battle power bonus is not as good as theirs but I can always be in the top 5. And one more thing. If you think your points are good enough then you better not waste armament. You can do auto to skip battle. And earn TD coins based on the previous highest points. I hope all of this is useful, if you have any questions, please write them in the comments column. Don't forget to subscribe for more information and tips. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.